Let's bring in Face the Nation moderator and CBS News chief foreign affairs correspondent Margaret Brennan. I know, Margaret, you've been working the phone talking with sources. So how much does the did the U.S. know about how this operation was carried out? Well, Nora, my sources told me that the U.S. was given a brief heads up about 20 minutes before yesterday's attack against Hezbollah militants, but just the idea was something was about to happen. The covert operation was not shared in detail in advance. Uh, but we do know that the U.S. is assessing at this point war is not inevitable. The Biden administration is still trying to broker both a ceasefire in Gaza and a deal between Hezbollah and Lebanon, uh, Hezbollah in Lebanon and Israel. It's good to have you here, too, because there's some breaking news that is just coming in, and that is about Iran regarding their efforts to try and undermine the U.S. election. What do we know about what Iran is doing? Well, Noor, U.S. intelligence just disclosed that this summer, there was a hacking campaign by Iranian actors where they stole information from the Trump campaign and sent it to members of the Biden campaign. This is similar to that hack and leak operation we saw in August where information was stolen that was damaging to the Trump campaign and given to journalists. In both cases, we don't have evidence the damaging information was used. But this is a loud warning by the intelligence community that as we get closer to the presidential election, we will see more actions by foreign actors to influence the outcome. There is a lot of foreign influence in these elections. We will be on guard and watching it and reporting on it. Margaret Brennan, thank you so much.